Well, I'm not going to believe what I discovered. I feel like a total idiot. I stripped these out from a VCR machine. You know, I figured they might come in handy someday to do some, you know, cut it up, use it for shielding. And I was cleaning up my desk, preparation for a live broadcast tomorrow. And I decided, well, let me test this, just curious how well these will work, because they're a little bit thicker. Okay, and then this one is even a smidge thicker, not by much. And uh, so I said, well, well, let me test it. And I put the spacer on here like I normally would, except this is only about the thickness of a, an American nickel, maybe a little bit thicker than American nickel versus a quarter of an inch. I took my magnet, and let me show you this here. This, this is a magnetic screw. As you can see here, the screw sticks to it. I don't know how good the lighting is. I'll work on better lighting before I broadcast tomorrow night. And if you're watching this at a later date, you need to go back and find episode number one of my live broadcast. Um, so, what I did is I put the spacers here, stuck that to it, and as you can see, the magnet sticks to it. Okay? Now watch this. You remember how I stack up three of these things, the spacers, to get a pretty good shielded on my stators? And you see how close this magnet is to this one sheet? It's just one sheet of this metal. Watch this. Here's that screw. Doesn't even stick. Isn't that amazing? And yet, look how close that magnet is to the surface. And yet, if I take that magnet and remove the cardboard, and we do this again, now watch. See? The screw sticks. Well, if I drop it down high enough, we drop it from high enough, it has too much momentum and then it goes on by the magnet. Ugh. But anyway, you can see it sticks to it. Okay, you put this real thin shielding, I mean, uh, mat board back. It's just cardboard. You put it back. Try not to block your view as I do this so nobody accuse me of trickery or sleight of hand. Um, here's that same screw again. As you can see it's still magnetic. See, it's the, oop, screw is magnetic. <sighs> see, it's stuck there. Now watch this again. See, even if I hold it there, it doesn't. Oh, that looks nice to stick it a little bit, doesn't it? But basically, what little bit of magnetism is left is very negligible. Versus if I take the, the spacing out and do that, it sticks really, really good. See? Do that same experiment. Put these back. It might stick. Let's see here. Nah, it's not going to stick. Now move the cardboard. Bad aim. See? What's going on here is this stuff must be mu metal. This is not normal everyday metal. There's no way because it, it, this is normal. Because here's just good old fashioned tin. If we do this same experiment here and put the cardboard there and then, whoop, and then put, the, put it spacing in there and I'll watch. Ah, oh, dang it. Do it the other side. Okay. 
Okay. See. I have to use three layers of this to get a true shielding technique. I mean, to truly block about 80 to 90 percent of all the flux. And with this, I just need this one thin little sheet and two little pieces of cardboard or mat board. But if that isn't already beautiful, This thicker piece works beautifully. It's a little bit thicker. It might be a little different material, but I doubt it. So let me do this here. Put those two sheets back. Put the magnet on it. As you can see. And then, you can see what the magnet is right there. See? That magnet is right about there. I can't get it to stick if I, I try. Let's see, oh, it'll kind of want to stick there for a moment, but this shielding is kicking, is kicking butt. I can only imagine if I layer the two, put a spacer here, spacer there, and put a magnet here. I bet you I get nothing on the other side. I don't know if this will even hold together. Yeah, I don't get anything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I can't even begin to get it to stick. I wanted to. No, it won't even stick. Okay. Anyway, this means that we can make the stators more compact. The trouble is, is the supply of this. Getting the supply of this stuff. I mean, obviously, this is a component for our VCR machines. It's using shielding to protect the circuitry from EMF and RF. So, unless I can get my hands on a whole bunch of old VCR machines that don't work anymore, I'm not going to be able to get this stuff really easy. I, I just don't have the funds to buy it. I don't know how expensive this stuff is. Maybe it's not very expensive. And this may not even be mu metal, this may be something else more high tech. Uh, that's specifically designed for the electronic industry. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you here. Um, that's it. So I'll just continue to clean up my desk and, and try to take time out and get some sleep tonight. So, just thought I'd show you that. Thank you for your time. That's it. See you all tomorrow night. Take care and thank you for watching. Oh, and by the way, the whole point of my transmission is to do it live streaming. Just to show you that there's no trickery there's nothing being faked here and it's not about the shielding although good quality shielded material is important it's about how i use the shielding the technique in which i go about shielding another magnet and then how we use that stator to in turn move magnets on an armature or a wheel and the beautiful effect and results that you get. So I get all kinds of haters, trolls. I get people, even this new lady, what she, what she calls herself, physics mommy or whatever her name is, physics lady. Um, she thinks all oh, this is a joke. She even made a video about it. So anyway, soon she'll have egg on her face. But here nor there, uh, see you all tomorrow night, and that's the whole point of my live transmission, just so you can do this yourself. So you can actually see that this truly does do and perform exactly the way you see in my videos, and that I didn't trick anybody. And, and people say some of my videos have editings in them. There's no edits. Uh, while during an experiment, I don't have any edits. And once in a while, it's very rare, but every once in a while, on the upload, the video will glitch and I don't catch it, and and then it goes up there for months, and I've long since deleted the original master, and people say, oh, that's an edit point. I didn't edit anything in any of my videos. I never, never, ever edit during an actual demonstration while I'm actually involved in that process, because that would be bad. 
I'm actually going to probably put a clock here too. So a clock is moving with a second hand. So you can see flow of continuity uh, for all those people. There's always going to be somebody out there who just thinks all this is trickery. Because what I'm doing here, what I have already done, it goes against uh, Newton's third law of, of uh, attraction, which says that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. However, guess what, Mr. Newton? Material like this didn't exist in the general public, and he probably knew nothing about this kind of stuff. He never thought for a moment, what if somebody could actually create an imbalance using magnetic shielding? Anyway, here nor there. I'm gone, I'm tired, I've got to go to bed, and I'll see you all tomorrow night here on Facebook, 9 o'clock, and then on YouTube, Friday nights is 9 o'clock as well. I'm going to do this for a few weeks until I've got a, a, that I have amassed enough footage and classes to show you how all this is done. And then I'm done. I'm not going to do any more of these live streaming transmissions. So, all right, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. And ladies, too, I think we have one or two women here. I don't know if they're following the, following the group anymore, but I guess we'll see.